Hi, my name is Eric Landrum. I am a professor in the Department of Psychological Science at Boise State University in Boise, Idaho. By the way, if you need a frame of reference for us, we're the ones that have the blue astroturf for our football field. So, what can you do with a bachelor's degree in psychology? That's a great question. First, let's dispel the myth that you can't do anything with a bachelor's degree in psychology. That statement is patently false. For quite some time now, well over 100,000 students every year in the United States have earned their bachelor's degree in psychology. In 2015, for example, 13% went on to pursue a graduate degree in psychology, 30% went on to pursue graduate or professional education in something other than psychology, and the remaining 57% went straight into the psychology workforce. So, in other words, um, you're definitely employable with a bachelor's degree in psychology, otherwise over 116,000 in the last year the data are available wouldn't have gone on into psychology. So, what types of jobs specifically are available for bachelor's degree holders? That question, however, is a lot more difficult to uh, answer. Here's the reason. There actually, there's a couple of reasons. First off, when you get a major, when you major in, let's say, teacher education, you kind of know what you're going to do. The same holds true for an architecture major, or a nursing major, or an engineering major, or an accounting major. But with a psychology major, the options are nearly endless. And the best jobs for a psychology major are often the best jobs for a social work major, a sociology major, a criminal justice major, sometimes even an English major. So there's no job that a bachelor's degree uniquely qualifies a psychology major for. Uh, it doesn't exclusively qualify you for anything. And that's probably part blessing and part curse. You're qualified to do a lot of things, but so are a lot of other students able to do those things with their bachelor's degree from their social science and sometimes from humanities-based majors. So, but what, what data do we have? These come from APA 2018. These are more job categories or clusters rather than specific jobs in most cases. Uh, typically administrative positions, management related occupations, service occupations, sometimes things like probation officers are classified in this category, uh, managers and executives, teachers and instructors, marketing and sales positions, personnel, training and labor relations specialists. So when you're earning a degree in psychology, you will likely take courses uh, in introductory psychology, statistical methods, research methods, and perhaps a capstone course, depending on your institution. And also depending on your college or university, you're gonna, you may have lab sections or lab courses. You will likely enjoy the richness of content-based courses. A lot of students really enjoy abnormal psych, social psychology, developmental psychology, cognitive psychology, and a whole host of courses that are uh, really content-rich areas within psychology. As for advice, uh, I could go on and on. In fact, there are entire books that offer advice for individuals earning a bachelor's degree in psychology. I'll kind of confine it uh, in this video to three major areas. First, get involved with psychology outside the classroom. Be a research assistant, a teaching assistant, uh, serve as an intern, get involved in your Psi Beta or Psi Chi chapter, maybe serve as a chapter officer, or some combination of them all. Uh, it'll give you a chance to apply book knowledge outside the classroom in the real world, build relationships, practice some teamwork skills, acquire leadership skills, do some networking. Those are important things to practice while you're an undergraduate before you make that college to career transition. Second, take the time to get to know faculty members. They can offer valuable advice and they're gonna be really helpful when you need letters of recommendation. And you're gonna need letters of recommendation and referees or references, whether you're going on to graduate school, professional school, or if you're going straight into the psychology workforce. It's particularly important, th this tip that is, is particularly important for transfer students because sometimes transfer students are a real rush or a hurry when they get to their second school, whether they're transferring from a two-year school or another four-year school. Um, so take the time to get to know faculty members so they can get to know you and your professional skills and abilities. Lastly, invest in yourself and, meaning, and spend meaningful time and effort in self-reflection. Too many seniors get to their last semester of college and ask themselves, so now what do I want to do for the rest of my life? 
Thinking about that question earlier could inform curricular choices, extracurricular op opportunities like teaching and research assistantships, joining Psychi, volunteering to be an officer earlier in your academic career, and so on. Investing in you is a really great investment. Try to find role models and mentors who will feel the same way. Get involved in your school. If you're not gonna get involved in anything, if you're just gonna take classes, you could do that online from some distance university. If you're gonna to go to a brick and mortar institution, make the most of it, make the most of the expertise there in the Department of Psychology. You're there, so make the most of it. Good luck.